Okay, today in class we are talking about solving equations that had no solutions or many solutions. And on your homework tonight, problems number 9 and 10 ask you to come up with equations that either had no solution for number 9 or infinitely many solutions for number 10. So let's take a look at this question number 9. We had to figure out what to put in the box so that this equation would end up with no solution. Again, we're going to start with some distributive property on the left side of this equation. We want to clear these parentheses. Everything gets multiplied by the 3. 3 times x gets your 3x. 3 times negative 4 thirds. Simplify this before you multiply. 3 goes into 3 one time. And now you have 1 times negative 4. You just cleared your fraction. So the quantity x minus 4 thirds times 3 gets you 3x minus 4. Distributive property over on the left side. And we want this to equal 3x plus some other number. Well, think about it. For this equation to have no solution, the only number that we can't put right here would be a negative 4. So if you put any number besides a negative 4 into the box, this equation would now have no solution. If we subtracted the three x's from both sides, we end up with negative four equals five. That is not a true statement, so this equation would have no solution. Okay, so there's number nine on your homework. Take a look at number 10. You had to come up with an equation that had infinitely many solutions. So we need to make the right side of this equation have the same value as the left side of the equation. Let's start by simplifying the left side of the equation here. We'll first do some distributive property. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So again, to simplify 2 times the quantity x minus 1, we would get 2x minus 2. Remember, everything inside the parentheses multiplied by the term outside the parentheses. Then we've got to add this other 6x. And that's going to equal 4 times something minus 1 plus 2. Okay, we can combine these like terms here. I have 2x's and a positive 6x's. When we combine 2x's and a positive 6x's, that gives us 8x. We still have a minus 2. So the left side, this simplifies to 8x minus 2. Hmm, take a look here. If I have eight x's over here, I'm going to need eight x's over here. What goes in the box to give me eight x's? Two x's. Four times the quantity two x. That'll give you eight x's. Minus one plus two. And now when you distribute this, four times negative one is going to be negative four. And then you add two. And you're going to have 8x minus 2 equals 4 times 2x is 8x. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. And negative 4 plus 2, negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. So we got 8x minus 2 equals 8x minus 2. Right there, you can tell you have the same thing on both sides of the equation. If we were to subtract the 8x's, we would have negative 2 equals negative 2. That is an equation that has infinitely many solutions. Okay, anytime you end up with that for a solution, you know, you can plug in any value for x that would make this equation true. All right, a couple more of those to practice.